एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग ओके सो क्विकली गाइस व्हाट वेर वी डिस्कसिंग इन आवर लास्ट क्लास इंटरफेसो Uh, do you all okay? Let me share the screen. dashboard. First. Do you all see the screen? No, right? No. Yeah, I hope you all see the screen now. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, what were we discussing here on the screen last time? Are we done with everything, or still we are the, discussing? Uh, we discussing about the links, links section. Oh. Links section. Yes. Okay. We discussed, I guess, right? We did understood the backlinks, number of backlinks, everything. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, any any questions or doubts with regard to this section? So, in that section, we didn't discuss about the site map. Links we did not discuss. External links, internal links we did not discuss. This section. Links, links uh, uh, we have done, but uh, site. Site map section we skip. This one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, this section basically helps you all to understand if there is any issue with the site map. Plus, more importantly, you are submitting your site map to Google. You are telling to Google that you have a site map. So, on basis of this, Google starts considering the URLs from the site map. See, so Google by itself might figure out the site map or may not. So, but when you submit it here, you are providing information to Google, and Google will start reading that site map. And in case of any issues, Google will let you know. See, this two site maps has issue. So, Google may not crawl these two site maps. Okay. So, uh, and if you want to see what is that error, you can click on it. You will get to see the errors. Missing XML tag. So, if you go to the sitemap, the sitemap will be empty. Will not have anything. So, this is empty. There is no sitemap data or information. These are empty sitemaps. So that's why it is showing there is an issue with these two sitemaps. Right. So how do we fix this? Is we have to eliminate the sitemaps. We, we we can simply delete the sitemap. There is no point of having an empty sitemap. Okay. I think we have discussed removals as well. No. See, I was explaining the same thing in one of the another uh, corporate session. I think I'm not sure. Uh, might be I I I'm kind of missing out what has been covered for you and uh, not. After this one week of gap, let me let me just quickly get that. See on learning measuring SEO success. No, this is evening class. Uh, so today, let's start. Let's start. 
that um, uh, Google Ads. Did I mention like that? I'll be starting with Google Ads. So uh, you have mentioned that few classes we will be going for uh, this. Uh, uh, what we discussed last that S. Uh, yeah, I think search console we have discussed everything. So looking at this, I could say that we have discussed everything. You see this last class. Yes. Yeah, we can start with uh, Google Ads. <coughs> we can start with Google Ads then. We have discussed such console, guys. So, uh, but no problem if anybody has any questions around this, let me know. We'll close that and we'll go to the Google Ads. Okay, are we all good to start the uh, ads part or uh, should we uh, look into this? This is done actually. Yeah, so you all have access to the recordings also, it's all uploaded. If not, also will be uploaded and you will have access to it. Just go through it once again. Yeah, are you all good to start the ad parts? Everyone? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, in all these classes, we have learned about organic optimization. So, ranking the website organically or freely on Google search. Correct? You can pause it also. Right? Yes, sir. So, now what is the necessity or when should we be really uh, running ads uh, when should we be really running ads what is the necessity so you all know what are ads right so maybe i'll just look at this i'll just search for something like this okay here you're not seeing the ads let me go to the incognito See, this is an ad. What you see here is an ad. Okay. So, uh, not only that, there are various kinds of ads. Okay. So, this is one kind of ad. This is called a search ad. Right. So, this one. This is called as product listing ad. This is called as product listing ad are you all getting it this is called as product listing ad so when i say that we are going to learn performance marketing or various kinds of ads launching various kinds of ads we're going to learn all of these kinds of ads now we have discussed about search ads and second one is product listing ads correct apart from these you will see lot of other kinds of ads also i'll show it to you one by one the ads that you see on various other websites various this is called as now the google search ad google product listing ads and google display ads or simply the display ads next is video ads you all must have seen on youtube right skip ads those are video ads yes right and apart from that there are ads like discovery discovery uh, on gmail so you must have seen that on your gmail also so if you are using a normal regular email, you will see such ads on your inbox as well. Ads on Gmail, ads on Maps and uh, what's that? Uh, ads on various other Google products, all they are considered to be as the, the, the discovery ads. You see this, it's not showing ads to me. So when you go to promotions, you will see the ads. Let me refresh this tab and show it to you. I'm not sure if I will be able to see the ads or not. But then if you all go to your inbox, you will for sure see certain kinds of ads. I'm not seeing them here.
not immediately maybe sometimes while you scroll you see get to see the ads you will see in the top most of the times have you all observed these kinds of ads this is not an ad but you you get to see ads also here maybe i might have taken some screenshots let me show it to you we have covered all of these things yeah so these are the search ads google search partners google maps so these are google maps these are youtube ads so guys uh, on your screen if you want to get a proper view click on this and change layout and change it to spotlight so that you will not see all of this right side people joining and it looks bigger yeah and in fact you can zoom this plus also you can plus on zoom this and you can see the ads on youtube not necessarily the skip ads but you can see ads just above your uh, the, the complete ad uh, to the right side or to the left side on the youtube uh, web pages yeah see look at this these are ads on gmail these are gmail ads do you all observe that orchid international school so on on 29th march or 30th march some day i got to see the ads so that is the time to get admissions for children correct so and later you will not see that ad walmart city will a 4 bhk triple x or 3 bhk whatsoever villa ment right so these kinds of ads and these are called as google shopping ads google display ads youtube video ads skip ads like the skip ads all these kinds of ads are handled through a platform called ads.google.com ads.google.com so you can launch all these kinds of ads not just one particular type you see that here these kinds of ads these kinds of ads ads on the google maps i don't know how many of you have observed it or not so these are all ads on google maps this is youtube ad gmail ad shopping ads display ads youtube video ads youtube normal uh, text ads 
or uh, the display ads are different from the top the YouTube video ads video ads are like skip ads your video will play on the video is a YouTube video ad but the regular normal uh, discovery ads on YouTube will be the text ads so a click will directly take you to the website are you all following it right so uh, yes. it is all very simple to run all these kinds of ads it's not that complex the only complex thing for you could be understanding certain kinds of terminologies and a simple math how it all works see this all in order to execute all of this you all need a thorough or proper understanding of the certain things certain things we'll discuss those basics today yeah Yeah, so performance marketing is an inorganic way of building visibility for the products or services on various platforms by participating in the bidding or paying the charges to the respective platforms as per their norms or standards is called a paid marketing or performance marketing. So it is very unlike to you optimizing your website to show up on Google, right? So, so not only on Google, it can be any platform. So you will have two options. One is you will get a natural organic visibility on those platforms and if you want higher positions better positions and if you want to show up in the top on search engines or maybe to a lot of people on social media pages you have to pay to those platforms and you have to make your presence that is called as performance marketing clear right so why you should be uh, investing on all of this ads or performance marketing when you can rank your website on Google. So look at this SFMC training in Hyderabad. You are ranking on Google. You Do you see that here organically you are showing up on Google but then still why should you be running ads on Google is my question. Anybody has answers to it? So when you are already ranking organically on Google, why should you be running ads on Google again? Anybody has any uh, thing to say about it? Sir, please repeat sir. So when your business or website is already ranking on Google organically like this, see still companies go ahead and run ads or what is the necessity of ads? My question is, what is the necessity of running Google Ads for a business? How are they going to be useful? So to promote any business, uh, also to sell any product or services. Okay. So you're already able to sell with this, right? You're already showing up on Google. Why should you be running ad again? So to create awareness as well. Ah. To create awareness. No, not to create awareness. Uh, it is shown on the websites on Google. <coughs> so, see, first thing is you cannot really show your website like this on Google from the day one. It takes several weeks or months of efforts. Correct. So this being the reason when your business is in the very initial stages and are expecting leads from day one, organic activities may take several months of time and hence paid marketing is the solution. Importance is when your business is in the very initial stages and are expecting leads from day one, the paid marketing is the right solution. So companies who want to test the response for their product or service in various market can implement the paid marketing and understand the marketing, right? So you have thought of a new concept. You came up with a new concept, a new idea, right? So now you are not sure. So you see, whenever you come up with a new concept or a new idea about the business, you cannot really uh, go and invest full-fledgedly into it until unless you understand 
the potential for your product or service correct right so that's when the paid marketing activities could help you so you can quickly run a campaign so let's take example of somebody manufacturing food products so to manufacture these food products they may have to install various kinds of machineries process right uh, construction or facility to manage all of this printing and packaging missions right various kinds of investment is associated so now but then they are not sure if that's going to be really fruitful or not or they they are planning to uh, expand to various other countries so how do they understand the response to their product so in those scenarios they can quickly run a paid campaign in maybe let's say i am planning to do trainings in dubai so what i'll do instead of me putting so much of effort organically and doing various kinds of things i'll quickly run a paid campaign show the ads to the dubai region understand the response understand the market and then accordingly i'll be able to take the decision companies who want to test the response for their products or service in various markets can implement the paid marketing and understand the markets second point clear guys everyone yes sir yeah to get details about the existing players or competitors such as for which products or services they are executing the paid ads their spend target regions etc see when you are running these kinds of paid ads you will be able to understand your competitors also better who all are competing who all are investing in that service so hair transplantation if you are bidding on hair transplantation on google you will you will you will have an option or option from which you can understand who all are bidding on google ads so for example option insights so this is the section that will help you to understand who all are bidding on google so this is a section where you get to see right now we don't have the data but from this section you can you can you can see all the uh, details about uh, your competitors yeah look at this for this company they get to see uh, we will be learning all of this in detail but this is just an idea what's happening uh, who all are competing with you and all you get to see that okay we'll be discussing this dashboard in detail yeah to understand the roi and plan the paid marketing aggressively okay so roi is return on investment if you are investing 5000 rupees how much money are you going to make okay so we are going to discuss that as well in detail uh, we have a table here we will have very detailed explanation around it i'll show it to you how it all works we'll probably discuss roi calculation today itself yeah so to understand the return on investment and play it pay plan the paid marketing aggressively okay see google ads is all about you will be spending money okay so you can spend any amount of your choice but that completely depends how much you are going to spend how how aggressively you are going to spend it all depends on the outcome if you are spending 5000 rupees you will look for at least 5 lakhs revenue right 50000 revenue at least correct everybody yeah yes sir so companies so this one uh, will be a very detailed discussion let me finish off all these points so companies or businesses who are seeking an aggressive growth also opt or use the paid marketing so let's assume i'm already getting business i'm already getting lots of business 
but I am very keen to scale it up to a significant level. So in those cases of senior use, I can consider investing more on the paid marketing platforms and expand my growth and scale up my growth. Correct. So maybe ranking like this on Google must be getting only one crore revenue every month. Now the moment I go with the ads which are surpassing all of this as well in the top, my revenue would grow to two crores. Right? Are you all getting it? Seeking an aggressive growth also opt or use the paid marketing. Companies runs the ads to capture the market as much possible and kill the competition. So now let's assume when I am ranking here, I am giving certain amount of my market share to this company and also all of these companies must be taking it, correct? Now I don't want this to be going to anybody. So I want to be in the top everywhere. Here in the top, Google business listing in the top, Google organic in the top. So I'll be capturing the maximum market. And if this continues to happen, the competitions will die, correct? Like for example, Uber comes and acquires Ola. Sorry, the market of the Ola will be acquired, not acquiring the Ola. And they will die, collapse. Yeah. However, the primary goal is to get more number of sales are lead with the highest return on investment. The main purpose or goal of running ads on various platforms is to generate more and more leads or sales or business for your company. Correct? <coughs> Got it. Ask him to come on. I would ask him if you would like to sit for a demo class now. After that class, I'll speak to him. We will have another. Uh, not much. Ask him if you would like to take the demo. Class is happening. You can be part of the class. And post that, I'll speak to him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now you cannot you cannot start with the Google Ads just like that. You need to understand certain things, certain terminologies. So for example. Do you all know what is CPC? Cost per click. No, oh, yeah, 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 cost yeah. per click. So CPC is CPC is cost per click. I call this as CPC. Okay. So what happens is now Google. So if you want to participate on ads like this, SFMC training, yeah, look at this, uh, these are ads, right? So now this is not decided by you. How much you have to pay to Google is not decided by you. This is the price, the base price set by Google. So for example, let's say you are planning or willing to buy a property, auction property. You must have seen the auctions from bank, right? Yes. Auctions, of, uh, auctions from the banks. So they must have taken a debt from the bank and they are not able to pay or pay it. And now the bank will put that property in auction. They will not give an option to the buyers. They will set a base price. They will say this property worth us 50 lakhs. So people will start bidding on it. I will pay 55 lakhs and I will own this property. Somebody else will come and say 57 lakhs and somebody else will say I will pay 60 lakhs. Give it to me. Correct. This is the auction. So in different languages, there are different words used. What is the word used in Canada? Hindi. Tamil, Malayalam. So I want you all to tell me what is it called as. Bank says 50 lakhs. Person 1 comes and says I will pay 60 lakhs and I need it. Person 2 comes and says I will pay 70 lakhs. Person 3, 80 lakhs. Bidding. Bidding or option. In Hindi, huh, in Hindi. Hindi we call it sir, um, Nilami. Milani. N Nilami sir. Nilani, Nilani. Good. Nilani. Thanks. Nilani. Okay. Nilami. Ma, ma sir. Ma. Milani. Nilami. Yes. Milami. Okay. Milami. Yes. 
Mi la mi. Okay, mi la mi. Mi la mi sa na. No, no. N. N I M A L I. Mi la mi. Okay. So Tamil, more than Malayalam and everybody here, Tamil person offline. Also, we have people sitting here. In Malayalam, it is called as Lelam. Lelam. Yes. Yeah, Tamil. Yeah. Elam. 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 Lelam. Canada. Canada. Rupesh and Hema Malini, both of you are Canada, right? So in Telugu, Velam. Velam Pata. Tamil also Velam. Yelam. See, there is no big difference. In Telugu, it's Yelam or Velam. Yelam only, I guess. Yelam. Not Velam. Yelam. Tamil also Yelam. Malayalam. Lailam. Lailam. Yes. Araji. 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 Araju. Okay. Araju. Okay. Fine. So, see now this base price is always set by the respective administrations, correct? The bank or whatsoever it is, correct? Right? <coughs> Ibrahim. Is he okay to wait? Uh, take phone number, email ID meanwhile. Name, phone number, email ID, and paper. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, see, look at this now. You see this? So, they are all setting. See, the Google has set a base price, let's say 100 rupees. Now, this fellow would have come and told, I'll pay 101 rupee, and Google is moving them to the top. Or Google must have set a base price of 80 rupees, where this fellow is bidding at 80 rupees and is bidding at 85, 90, 95, something like that. Correct. So CPC is the base price, CPC full form is the cost per click is the base price set by the platform which is the base price <coughs> of the charge set by the platform per click. Huh? the CPC drastically varies depending on the varies depending on the keyword region competition platform or type of type of ad you are bidding on okay see when when i say google ads you are not supposed to blindly run the google ads see ads not for free and you can start executing or running the ads okay so but my suggestion is do not run ads if you own a business or if you are working on a digital marketing project for your client don't just go and run the ads without understanding certain basics or certain things you have to understand will you see will you be just starting a business of uh, uh, let's say selling fruits or selling uh, furniture or selling something else you'll understand the profits or margins in it correct you'll understand competition in it correct you understand various kinds of details around it right right it's super important here as well to understand the return on investments to understand that we are going to discuss few terminologies first and then it becomes super easy for us to understand if you should be running the ads or not. So cost per click you have understood now. There is something called as conversion rate. So what is this conversion rate? Any idea guys?
conversion rate is the measure of the ratio of the leads or sales achieved against against the traffic number of conversions divided by total number of leads yes so the, the, the multiple ways i'll show, show you i think i have written this here somewhere i'll i'll uh, uh, i'll explain you that's not necessarily uh, yeah we have explanation Okay, so it's not necessarily the conversions divided by uh, leads. I'll tell you what it is here in Google Ads. It depends. It depends on uh, various things. Is the measure of ratio of leads or sales or any goal set by business or any goal? achieved against the traffic received to the website okay so this is the conversion rate on google ads see on google ads platform directly we calculate uh, against the traffic so your your conversion can be a lead or a sale or any goal any goal is somebody uh visiting your contact us form or installing an app installing an app on their mobile phones is a conversion is a goal or people filling on filling the form on the website is a lead or a conversion or people buying on your website is a conversion a conversion can be a lead sale or any goal achieved any goal achieved can be app installation or people going to about us see for business anything it can be considered as a goal anything can be goal they run ads simply to get the uh, direct sales or they will be running ads simply to uh, get the people to visit their profile or download the brochure of the company download the catalog whatever it is anything can be a conversion right but when it comes to sales teams in terms of sales team a conversion is always the measure of the ratio of the lead to sale right it's always sales divided by sorry uh, yeah yeah sale divided by measure of ratio of the sale to lead right lead to sale na sir yes 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 <coughs> leads to sale lead to i had to correct it because <coughs> lead to sale okay so example the number of leads achieved as 100 sales from 100 leads are only yet so the conversion rate conversion rate is 8 divided by 100 equal to 0.08 when you convert to percentage equal to into 100 percentage is equal to 8 percentage okay 8 divided by 100 is 8 percentage only right yes right so now when it comes to google ads on google ads it is the goal goal achieved goal achieved equal to can be a sale or lead or app installation or 
app installation or brochure download or anything correct so conversion equal to goal divided by traffic to website example a goal can be sales 100 sales achieved from 1000 visitors or traffic to website so what is the conversion rate here 10 percent 100 divided by 1000 equal to 10 percentage correct yes sir clear everybody conversion rate is 10 percentage so there are a lot of terminologies which we are going to look into uh, but i'll not discuss some of them here will be confusing for you at this moment so there is something called as cpa cost per acquisition okay i'll write it here cost per acquisition cpa or cost per conversion so it's both mean the same both mean the same cost per conversion so is the cost is the total cost incurred in achieving a achieving the sale okay is the measure of the total expenses or cost is the measure of uh, total expenses or cost to the sales count or any sales count or lead or any goal for example total spend equal to 10,000 total sales achieved equal to 10 so the CPA is equal to 10,000 divided by 10 which is equal to 1000 rupees correct so the CPA is 1000 rupees correct are you all understanding it so to get 10 sales you have spent 10,000 rupees so each sale is costing you 1000 rupees. rupees correct so that is CPA cost per acquisition or cost per conversion right so now for some businesses it will be a lead stage so if it's a hair transplantation if it's a training they will see google ads they will click on the google ads they will come to the website but they will not make the purchase they will inquire so in those case it's cpl cost per lead cost per lead so cost per lead is total cost divided by total leads for example total cost is 10,000 rupees and leads achieved are 8 or maybe 5 so the CPL equal to 2,000 rupees correct ten thousand divided by 5 that is 2,000 rupees cost per lead is 2,000 rupees now from leads let's say so your cost per lead so your cost per lead is 2000 rupees you understood how right so you have spent 10000 rupees and out of 10000 you got 10 leads let's assume so now the cost per lead will be 1000 rupees so if you are getting only 5 leads the cost per lead is going to be 2000 rupees now this is not cost per sale 
so this is not the actual cost per acquisition you have five leads out of this five leads when you spoke to them and provided your commercials or the price information out of this only two made purchase with you only two made purchase with you so out of five leads only two purchases the product or service and in this case and in this case the cost per acquisition is equal to 5000 rupees correct each sale costed you 5000 rupees correct yes. online join is you are all following it right yes. so your cost per acquisition your cost per acquisition is not 2000 rupees this 2000 rupees by spending 10000 rupees you got five leads which is not cost per acquisition it is just cost per lead correct the, because there is an intermediate stage the sale has not yet happened so when you speak to these leads they are going to out of this five you might see only two are converting or only one converting in case if it's only one your cost per acquisition is going to be 10000 rupees because to get this five people you have spent 10000 rupees correct out of this five only one purchases your product or service the cost per acquisition is going to cost you 10000 rupees correct yeah so it's not only uh, based on the clicks google will charge you based on the impressions so that is called as cpm cost per million impressions right cost per uh, million views vcpm is cost per million views million is here not 10 lakhs million is here just 1000 cost per 1000 impressions it's supposed to be cost per 1000 impressions see google is not only charging you per click it also charges you based on impressions you all know what an impression is correct yes, sir. cpm cost per uh, sorry uh, yeah cpm is cost per million impressions cost per million impressions right so let's say 100 rupees is equal to charged by google for the impressions which is 1000 here for 1000 impressions google might charge you 100 rupees 10 rupees that's different thing but here it is cpm is cost per million impressions we cpm is cost per million views okay so roas is return on ad spend roas is return on ad spend roas is written on R R O I is written on investment. Huh? Cost per million views. So now views videos, right? For every thousand views, Google would charge you thousand rupees or hundred rupees or ten rupees, whatsoever. The terminology abbreviation used is V C P M. Cost per million views. You see the alphabetical order in the Abbreviation is different. Okay, so V C P M cost per million views. V supposed to come in the last, but it's coming in the first. Cost per million views, right? So it's clear all these terminologies. So what we will do is understanding this calculations, ROI calculations, and all will take at least one hour of time. So we'll uh, discuss this in the next class, tomorrow's class. Yeah. So on understanding this, we will. Proceed with learning how to launch various kinds of campaigns. So even before that, again, we have to understand the different types of uh, targeting, the keyword targeting, placement targeting, remarketing, audience targeting. There are various kinds of targeting methods available. We will learn all those methods as well. And then we will start launching the campaigns one by one. Okay. Fine, guys, everyone. Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow, please. Let me know at what time, so I am suggesting to, uh, let, let's connect at 10 o'clock. But today, Mohit, I don't know what was the problem. You did not even inform that you will be joining at 10.30. Uh, 
uh, we all were waiting for you guys okay anyways no problem yeah can we connect back tomorrow yes sir bye then yeah, bye 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 everyone bye